Hey everybody, Scuba Jen here from the Playground Dive Shop, bringing you What's Your 2020 Vision. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite types of diving, and that's night diving. Uh, if you're a new diver, you may not have ever had a chance to go night diving. If you've been diving a while, most likely you've had that opportunity. A lot of people are curious about why do you want to dive at night? What's the appeal? Well, the appeal is it's a chance to extend your diving time. Uh, with only so many dives you can possibly do in the daytime, by doing night dives, you have even more time to, to dive. Another thing is there's different creatures that come out at night that aren't there in the daytime. Um, different kind of creatures that are out there at night are often crabs, lobsters, shrimp. Uh, they become more active at night. Um, you can see fish that are active during the day in a different fashion. One of my favorite things to see is a parrotfish. Parrotfish, you'll see them lying sideways on the ocean floor or in the coral. And what they've done is they've taken saliva um, that they have in their mouth and they cocoon their body with it. And what that does is that protects them so other fish can't smell them and eat them. So you'll see them laying like this on the bottom and just kind of see their eyes open and they kind of look like they're dead but it's it's kind of an interesting phenomenon to see also octopus are more active at night so you can see new fish at night another reason is you can see an old uh dive site and make it new by observing it at night um, things that you want to think about if you are night diving and that would be like your entries and exits um, if you're shore diving, it can be a lot trickier getting in and out of the um, ocean or the lake because of rocks and coral and um, waves. So you want to be very careful and make sure you have a, a marked really good so you can come in and out when you're diving. Other things to think about and equipment that's required for night diving is flashlights. Now, back in the old days, we used to have these really big, heavy-duty lights. These are workhorses, uh, but they're super heavy. But with today's modern dive equipment, we have things like um, the Scuba Pro Nova 850R. It's a rechargeable flashlight. It's a lot smaller than that big canister light, um, but it's a lot more powerful, too. Besides having a primary light, having a second light and a tank light, like one of these little flashing lights that you can put on your tank so your dive buddies can see you. Um, other special consideration that you might want to have is uh, a non-diver. That can be there on the shore to help you guys get back in. Underwater photography can be uh, amazing at night because now you've got this dramatic background that's black that um, your pictures can just pop with the strobes or the lights that you have. Something else to consider um, with that too is you're going to need, and this is from a voice of experience, you're going to need a little spotting light to help um, you focus your camera. Um, GoPros are really great with a video light night diving. Some other considerations you want to think about when you're diving at night is if you're ever down in Bonaire, um, one of my favorite things to do at night, and it comes about four days after the full moon is what they call the ostracod dive. The ostracods are tiny little seed shrimps and they're like clockwork, but they're very rare. You don't see them everywhere, but you do see them down in Bonaire. And they look like uh, almost like fireflies that we have here uh, in Missouri. And what happens is you get out about sundown and you go and you, you find a position to, to be at um, and then you turn off all your lights. And as soon as it gets dark, You'll see these tiny little lights, um, kind of like stars in the sky, fill the water. And it's beautiful and magical just to swim through that and just see. Uh, it's amazing. So night diving is actually one of my favorite types of diving. Um, if you've had experience or encounters night diving, um, leave a comment with us below and let us know what you like about night diving. And if you've never done it and you're kind of scared, kind of nervous, that's okay. That's your body's natural instinct and reaction to be nervous about something you haven't done before and that's one of the reasons why um, patty offers night diving courses that you can take and we could do that with your advanced open water is take a night diving class or if you want to get um, a specialty course in it you can do that which also counts toward your master scuba diver rating um, but regardless um, whether you've done it or not leave us a comment if you've got other things you want us to talk about on our watch your 2020 vision let us know and for those that are subscribed to our YouTube channel, I have figured out how to copy this over. I haven't figured out how to live stream both. I am working on that. So if you got bombarded by 
um, videos the last few days. I apologize, but uh, we are going to post this um, right after we end on YouTube. So you can catch us here on Facebook Live. You can catch us on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the Playground Dive Shop, you guys take care.